All right, YouTube, we're here for some of the challenge. Are we doing the challenge? Some bonus content. We're going to keep this. Hand sucks. Ditch this. Feel bad when my opponent plays a Merit Lage deck. Trump. Ponder. I think we're playing a Delver Mirror here. And if that's the case, I'm going to ponder for lands. Unless my opponent shuffles. If my opponent shuffles, I might waste land. I chose not to shuffle. Okay, so then I'm not going to do that. I'm going to ponder and find myself a land. Found a lot of lands. That was unfortunate. I just like... I accidentally mulliganed to five in the first match. The first game. And then just like zoned out. And like didn't just threw cards away. All right, we're not playing against Delver. Tarmowife. Uh, this card's so annoying. But I don't really want to just throw away my Pyromancer. We're gonna get a mountain. Probably like some bug mid-range deck. Which I think is actually like an underrated deck. Like I think this deck's better than like Grixis. Like I, I, don't, I just don't like Grixis control that much. I played a league on my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, we'll let that go. Some guy I was working with, um, which you all can do. If you want me to check your decks out, I will play them through leagues off stream. Um... And, you know, give you some feedback on it. So we're untapping with a Pyromancer. I should have wasted them. That was stupid. I have to, like, get back on center here. All right, well, now we're just going to, like, storm off here. Probably going to bolt this Strix, to be honest. Um... Did that the wrong order. I mean, this this like makes the Tarmor wife massive, but whatever. Dalloway, we're in between the challenge. We're playing fast and loose, my friend. This is where we're not thinking. We're making elementals. That's what we're doing, sir. Sir. Making elementals. That's what we're doing. We out here making elementals, boys. I shouldn't have even... I should have just wastelanded them. I shouldn't have even played my land. You can get that shit out of my face. You bastard. If I had just wastelanded them, this would have gone much better. Play like a more... And you know what also have been sweet? If I could have spell pierced and force of willed that. It's like I made bad plays and lost because of it. Pikachu meme. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. If only we had pierce up. If only we had Pierce up. All right. I get to Tarmogoyf pile. Get rid of this shit, this thing, get rid of this. Pyroblast is like, it hits Baleful Strix. It's probably bringing like one. Not really proud of it. It's probably better than Fork Bolt though. This game, the theme of this match is going to be I'm not proud of it. That was my last match. Holy shit. I played against, uh, I can't remember if it's what his name is, but he's Lamholt on Moto. 
and he just like ranched me playing death and taxes. I wasn't even like awake through it and like forced a card I could have dazed. I accidentally mulliganed to five. Like, oh, it was not good. It was no bueno. Heater. Absolute heater. I'm going to fetch an island. I'm going to show up to the GP next weekend with like 40 elementals in my bag. And as soon as I like start casting a spell with Young Pyromancer, I'm going to look my opponent in the eye and just be like, making elementals. Do your worst. That's because that card is stupid. Um, not gonna do this. No. Maybe I should have. All right, let's find a land. Um, cards I'm interested in. I'm not really interested in the second Delver. This Lightning Bolt I could get talked into though, but I, with any luck, I have, I might fetch it away. Hopefully I stack those right so that I flip it to the right thing. I think I did. Yeah, I am so... Who's excited for Game of Thrones tonight? You got it. I kind of want to reveal the lightning bolt and fetch the lightning bolt away. Right, is that like wild of me to get rid of this bolt? I'm getting rid of it. I made an executive decision. I'm just going to play this. If they Baleful Strix me, then like whatever. I'll just brainstorm and find it. I didn't really think about Baleful Strix when I was like, what should I get rid of? So that's like not great. You know, it was a little derpy dirt move from me. But. But whatever. We'll just, like, outnumber a Baleful Strix. Yeah, sure. I'll probably just let him kill my Delver here. Always, are we making elementals? What are we pausing here, bud? You gonna force this? Go ahead, make my day. All right, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. I might just trade, like. I might just attack my Delver into this because I have to get rid of it eventually, but like that's stupid. I can just rather just bolt him. It's not like I'm pushing damage to like kill my opponent. Kind of going to feel bad not having Force of Will if my opponent like does land Liliana and has another counter spell. Ooh. All right, well, now I just officially don't give a shit. Because, like, we're just going to run this, get this, and then I'm going to turn my dude sideways. And then, like, if they ever actually deal with this board, I'm just going to have back to, like, just going to have back to back true name nemesis, nemesis, nemesis. Yeah, that was a nice ponder. I approve of that message.
Honestly, we're playing so fast and loose here. I don't know how I'm going to be able to reel it back in for the last two rounds of the challenge. It ain't going to be easy. Dude, I'm fast and loose there, Rob Meadows. My opponent looks like they're up shit creek without a paddle here. All right, so I get in for six. My opponent eats this. Six. Eats one more of these. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to feel kind of dumb if my opponent abrupt decays my thing. I did not think about that. We out here just pushing damage. Spell Pierce. We out here pushing damage. Sick thing is my opponent can't even forcible anymore. Yeah, dude. Maths for blockers. Get out of my face. Yeah, dude, you forced that. That's countered. Dude, I respect that force well. Let my opponent know. And submit. I gotta go out on my own terms. That's what we're here to do. We're here to make elementals and dish the business there, Rob Meadows. Yeah, you can post links. I know you, Rob. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a sword because you're a nice guy. Absolute heater. Absolute heater. Make it elementals. Yeah, dude, why don't you go in position yourself? I'm just going to wasteland them. Unless they take my Delver. If they don't take my Delver, I'll play the Delver. If they take my Delver, just... Get that land out of here. He took my Delver. All right. Bang. Just hit on the F6 train. Nothing from our opponent. Okay. So we like to see a little land go action. It's not an awful draw. Like we do get to protect the hell out of this Pyromancer. It's going to suck if they have an Abrupt Decay, though. This is a Tarma Wave. Should I counter it? Ugh. I could just try to manage this Tarmac Wave, but the problem is if my opponent has an Abrupt Decay, I'm going to feel so stupid. So I think I'm just going to go fetch an island and daze it. 
Actually, we haven't seen. I want to get. I want to get some good mana. Tiger is back. Yeah, I saw that he won. Really didn't want to do that. You're gonna be like 100% above the rim here. Oh well, now I'm glad I did it. Yeah, what has it been? Like 15 years since he won a major? Something like that, right? Yeah, dude. 13 plus, yeah. Been a hot minute. I'm not going to force a goyish. You got it. I mean, like, my Brainstorm and my Pyromancer are both good cards here. Wasn't well, Michael Phelps the most dominant athlete ever? Flip, I go over, yeah, boy, boy. All right, um, are we Brainstorming? I don't think so. I'm going to brainstorm the end of my opponent's turn. But swimming. Swimming is not mainstream sport. Considering I know that's what you were talking about, Tammy. I'm excited for endgame, are you? I should also... I just always forget to do this. I haven't modded anybody for like two years. And I just modded like three people. Been a hot minute. Um, I don't even want to do anything. I guess if I get abrupt decay, I'm gonna feel kind of silly. Mainstream like water. <laughs> yeah, now I feel a little silly. I like all my cards, so let's just ponder. Keep my land intact. I'd love to find a wasteland. Dude, you are you are a knight of the Hovenwald. All right, oh, I'm gonna draw a spell scanner. When I first started my stream, I played like a lot of like green black decks. I was playing like a lot of death, like traverse death shadow. So I branded my stream as the Hovenwald. And like whenever anybody followed, it was like, you have traversed the Hovenwald. All right, yeah, we're going to get rid of that. I shovel away a ponder, which kind of feels bad, but whatever. Like, I feel like I'm ahead on resources here. I'm just going to pretend my opponent doesn't have Wasteland. Might go, we might brainstorm in a land library. We didn't. Um, I'm not wild about this forcible anymore. So I'm going to go like this. Give myself the option to either brainstorm into the force of will or shuffle it away. I'm really excited for... Um, well, there's another really good movie later in the year that I wanted to see. I cannot remember. There's another one that I really wanted to see. All right, I'm going to fetch. So my opponent's deck's like probably mono bombs at this point, but I have like mono, I have like a whole bunch of true names in my deck. Again, we're just going to brainstorm because we hit Library or Delver. We didn't do either of those. We'll put the Brainstorm on top and just hold up Double Spell Pierce. And then, like, not Brainstorm next turn. Probably wait for my Brainstorm to clear. That's kind of obnoxious. 
Yeah, Game of Thrones. That starts tonight. Okay, so I could hit land true name, but that's not even that good because they're probably just sitting on like a million edicts. So I'm just going to like wait one more time. Then like let my brainstorm clear and then brainstorm again. Get out of my face. For what it's worth, I think this deck's better than people give it credit for. Alright, I'm gonna shuffle away. Just wanna shuffle away both my lands, then use my ponder to shuffle. But like my bolts aren't doing anything. Yeah, lightning bolt's not doing anything. So like, so what are they gonna do? They're gonna play Tarmogoyf. All right. Um. All right. I guess I'm just gonna draw this lightning bolt. And then at least if I get a Snapcaster Mage on the board, I'm doing something. They kind of like have to deal with it before they can eat it for true name, which is what we're looking for. All right, I'm going to use my mana. No, that just feels... No, I have more like self-respect than Lightning Bolting of Baleful Strix. All right, I'm going to pass. And then I'm going to pass again and then ponder on my turn. Because I would like to be able to deal with a Tarmogoyf via this Snapcaster Mage. I guess I do have nine points of damage in my hand. But I don't know. I just, I do not know. Here's an old shuffle ruski. Here's a good end. All right, let me give him a decay target. I might bolt this now because it represents another card. Probably if I bolt this and they land like Liliana the last hope, whatever, I can deal with that. I'm gonna bolt this thing. Staying at 13, baby. We're settling in. Uh, no, that's stupid. I'm gonna be an adult. Because like, they just go like Jace. Snapcaster Mage. Damn it. All right, now I gotta probably gotta clean some of this crap out. At some point. All right, let's. Target ponder. Ponder off my green source. Give that a good old shuffle. All right. Are you gonna spell pierce me? Buster storm me? What are we doing here?
Yeah. I asked for that. I asked for that. All right, I'm just going to look to trade Snapcasters. Okay, now I'm going to bolt this Snapcaster. Hey, Philly. Hey, Phil. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing? Fail. All right, this is where we're at. We are blue blast and lightning bolts, baby. Hopefully they don't have a creature. Okay. Trinity Nemesis. Not bad. Can't spell pierce a Jace. I could have gotten here and blocked, but like, seems kind of mopey. Okay, here comes some big old scary thing. Yeah, that counts. Oh, daily for one. All right, we're both, we're at parity. True name off the top. I'm like a lot of cards in. I got four of those bastards for a reason. It shows not to shuffle. Snapcaster Mage. I'm gonna brain. I'm gonna bolt this before they untap. It's kind of a weak Snapcaster. Like, I think just like Snap Pondering on your main phase would have been better, right? I mean, unless you want to have Decay up, but like you're worried about True Name Nemesis at this point. I'd have gone snap ponder. That's what that's what I would have done. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a dead. That's an I'm dead boy right there. Trinity Nemesis. Okay. All right, don't kill it. block <clears throat> all right this didn't look good about two turns ago but now we're kind of now we're kind of doing it well we're not doing it come on dude don't kill my true nemesis Right, I got that next boy covered. Let me tell you what. Got a Snapcaster Mage covered too. And an Assassin's Trophy. Lily on the Veil gets me pretty good here. Yeah. This is like a redraw that I can spell snare. But I would much rather, you know, I would much rather hit something else. But, like, spell snare is not always convertible. Turn in. Yeah, this, this goif is large and in charge, baby.
It might have, yeah. All right, but when, we, but when we talk about going aggressive, I also have four True Name Nemesis in my deck, which is like a card that he must have a very difficult time dealing with. This card's so stupid. All right, so I get got by like a Pulse of Marasa here, right? Okay. Woo-wee. I think at, at like a at a large event, I or at something important, I think I would have attacked with one true name there. We're three and two. I played like shit against uh, Thomas Edelvin or Lamholt, whoever it is, and he just steamrolled me. Like I accidentally mold to five. I want I mold to six and then I clicked the wrong button. And yeah, Thomas. And Vol's son. Okay. He's, isn't he Lamholt? Is that who that is? No, I'm crazy saying I would have attacked with one. Like, Pulse of Marasa, if they even play it, is like a one of. Yeah, it's probably a meme. Michael Bondé? Okay. That's Bond Day. Okay. But, like, I accidentally molded to five. I was, like, kind of tilted and zoned out and, like, forced a will to card I could have dazed, and I, like, pitched the daze to the force. Was not good. Was not good. So we're, we're, like, we're playing for top 16 at this point. It's an amazing singer. He can dance. Four one to league. It's pretty nice. Sixteen of Danish Idol. Oh wow. It comes to legacy. Okay. Should put my treasure chests in my in my trade binder. That sounds like a fun summer. All right, I'm going to restart Moto. Moto's getting its lag on. Because we have ourselves a high quality program here. I did something real sweet a little while ago where a guy gave me, where a guy paid me to play his deck through a league. And then I gave him like, I made videos of it. So they're on YouTube so he could see it. And then I gave him like a 40, and then he, uh, I wrote up like a hundred word article on it, I guess, or like synopsis, which was pretty nice. It was kind of cool. It was a way to like, create more content because it's on my YouTube channel and actually get paid for it, which is sweet. It's kind of like what I've been doing with Magic lately. I think for the first time ever, I'm going to have like 
one of my events paid for from playing Magic. Because, like, I just, I just sold a bunch of tickets. Then I got paid from Twitch. And then I did the thing on the side for this guy. So I'm basically like a professional Magic player. By weekend. Clark Kent by weekday. Okay. Please make it in here. Did we get our treasure chests in here? We did. How many do I have? I don't even know. I have eight. Big deal, TM. Yeah, it was nice when we did all the opens. All the opens at Twitch. No, I just did my taxes and got some numbers close to what I spent on went and made on Magic last year. <laughs> no, no, I can I I can only imagine. I can only imagine. But I'm actually making money on YouTube now, which is kind of sweet. Like I've got it. I've got it down to where like, and I don't know if this would change or not, but let me go cardboard, card hoarder, buy bot two stuff. Um, to where right now, I think I, in the span of about a month, I make $10 per death shadow video I do because modern is the most popular. So, if I just made a Death Shadow video every night, and, like, this might change because of saturation of content, like, if I made 30 videos versus one, you know? It makes me think, like, those people that are, which is, like, like, let me, let me go, let me put my deck list up here, then I'll go pull up my YouTube thing. Um, pull this here. Uh, but you also go check out my YouTube videos from the recording of today's stream because that's that's how I make money. That's where all the pan comes from. I actually think I need to take off, yeah, I have to take off this league to put this on YouTube. This is, oh, I'm still recording. Oh, that's. 